Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we are bringing you a gameplay of Keep Up the Fire, The Boxer Rebellion. This is a game from the States of Siege series and it is solo only. Basically, uh, I mean, actually I'll explain it once we get down to the table. You'll, you, I don't wanna explain it twice to you. Uh, I do wanna mention that towards the end of the video, you're gonna see my uh, my little one shows up and is in there for about the final turn. I try to edit around him as best I can. Also, at the beginning of the video, for about, I think, the first 20 minutes or so, I mispronounce uh, the Qing Dynasty's name. I say King instead, but I do correct myself, like I say, about 20, 30 minutes into the video. All right, without anything else, let's get down to the table, and we're going to play Keep Up the Fire. All right, so here we go. We've got Keep Up the Fire, the Boxer Rebellion. Uh, in this game, there's going to be basically every round, there's two phases of play. There's going to be up to 24 rounds. In the first phase, the legation phase, we draw from this deck. In the relief column phase, we draw from this deck. The general idea of the game is that these eight countries all have uh, a le legation, I suppose is what it's called, uh, I'm not real familiar with all the terminology here, you know, from a historical perspective, but in this legation compound, all uh, eight of these countries are represented. They have their uh, ambassadors and that sort of thing here, uh, and they kind of represent these external imperial forces that are trying to exert influence on China. China has decided, uh, no, we don't want you here, and... I guess they wouldn't leave on their own, and so the boxers, which are this group of um, kind of uh, paramilitary civilians, from what I can tell, start attacking the compound, and the empress of China actually then lends them their support, and uh, the Qing dynasty forces also show up. So. Uh, the military uh, of the King Dynasty is represented by these yellow tokens, and the boxers are these red tokens. And they'll be coming along these routes from the, uh, the west, north, east, and south, trying to get into Fort Halliday. If anybody makes it here, I lose. Or if three of these street fighting locations have somebody in them, I lose. And you can see you have... Extreme range, long range, south wall, and then street fighting. So we're we trying to keep them out of there. Uh, you can play where these decks are in historical order. I'm not doing that this time. Uh, I Basically, the, the decks have two different uh, sort of eras in them, I get. Now, eras is probably not the right word. I'm not sure, but basically, you have the, the beginning of, of everything, the beginning kind of period the first half of the deck and then the second half of the deck and so when you set it up you take the first half of the deck uh, and you shuffle it up um, other than the very first card which is set aside two event cards get shuffled in which if you're playing through the historical way the event cards are not in there and you shuffle up the event cards into it and then card number one uh, which I'm going to show you that's always the first card of the game and then card number 13 is always the 13th card drawn because that starts the second half of kind of the history there. And same thing over here with the relief column. Card number one is always the same. And card number 13. And then there's two events in each half of the deck. So the second half of this deck will have two additional events as well. All right, so let's, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So right here we've got Empress... Dowager issues edict in support of the boxers. So first thing we do is Chinese placement. So we look at the Chinese compass here and we see we've got boxers coming in the north with strength four, the east with strength four, and the south with strength four. All right. Also, it says uh, we, we're going to have four actions this turn. All boxer units only, not king, uh, advance two spaces this turn during their advanced segment. So during the advanced segment, normally they move one space, but they're going to move two spaces this time. All right. So let's see. Um, we will... 
Uh, so right now we, I take my actions, and my actions are basically I can increase my fortification. I can um, ready my heroic effort, and I can attack them are really my primary uh, my, my, the primary things I can do. They are extreme range, so it's a little harder to cause casualties. I think I will step heroic effort up. I will move fortification up one, and then I will, I don't know, we'll fire at this one over here in the east. So they have strength four. I've got to roll a five or better. I didn't do it, and I'll do it again. Or actually, actually, I'll go in and increase my fortification one more time. That's going to be helpful for melee. All right, so then Chinese advance. Like I said, they're moving two spaces. So we are already in melee combat now. Okay. And then we go to legation movement. This is where I can mix and match. But if they are in melee combat, they are engaged and they cannot be moved. So these guys are where they are for now. All right. So then we move on to relief column phase. All right. And so again, Emperor Stalwarger issues edict in support of boxers. We're gonna get two two uh, actions over here. Now, if my action is to so, so technically speaking, the way this works is there's going to be a blocking unit on top. I might not draw the blocking unit every time, so but I'm going to show you this time. So they're dealing with a unit with four power, some boxers with four power. If I want to move, I have to disperse this blocking unit first. This, by the way, is the backup. The, the, this is the eight nation army that's showing up to block to break these guys out and get them out of the compound, or at least to reinforce them. And they gotta make it all the way to Peking. If I make it to Peking, I win. All right, so if I want them to move, they have to disperse these guys first. If I'm not gonna move, then there's not even really any reason for me to pull that out of the cup unless they're gonna attack, unless these guys, unless the Chinese are going to attack. Uh, so we'll keep that in mind in the future. I might not draw that out every time. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, so the, basically what my moves over here can be is I can increase my combat power, increase my speed, or I can uh, attack this, or I can try to move. So I'm going to actually just increase my combat power to get ready for some future, some some future events. All right, so. Uh, housekeeping phase, if the 8 Nation Army unit is in Peking, the game ends. Otherwise, place the Chinese blocking unit back into the cup and begin a new turn. All right, so that's that's an entire round right there. So here we go. We've got Relief Column Attacked. All right, so the north and east, we already have uh, units there, so we don't have to worry about that. The west is now getting a unit coming in. It's a boxer, all right, with strength four. Uh, you may spend two actions this turn to roll on the Peltang Cathedral defense table. If successful, place the heroic effort marker in the ready spot on right here. So what I can do, the heroic effort, if I use it, which I will go ahead and use it right now. So what we're going to do, we will use it to move. You, you pick one and move them two spaces back. Uh, so these guys are good their abilities help set them up good for melee so the so these guys these guys are for long range so i'm actually gonna move this guy back too all right and then we will spend two actions to roll on the peltang or Pitang cathedral if we roll one then we actually are going to lose one combat power for the french and italian forces which is represented up here this is the overall strength of the forces Two to three, no effect. Four to five, a success. This will be readied again without having to use a action. Or six, ring success. We'll ready this, and the French and Italian forces will gain one uh, combat power. So, oh, God. All right. Uh, so I just spent two actions to lose one combat power for France and Italy. So that's not good. Um... I think 
We'll go ahead then. This guy can fire an extreme long. That says minus one to hit at extreme long range. It's supposed to say plus one. Um, but I think... So I think what we'll do over here... Yeah, we'll attack, we'll attack melee against these boxers here first. So when you're attacking melee, you don't have to roll a hit. You just, you're automatically engaged. So we roll, and that's five damage. Now, that's five casualties. That's more than enough. We, you, there's one casualty for each power. So the boxers are, uh, are eliminated there. But then the legation is also going to suffer casualties. Five plus one for the boxers. That's plus one casualty. Uh, but so that's at six, but then we have minus one for Japan, minus two because of the south wall. So we're back down to three, and we will do uh, one. For, we have to split it up evenly: one for Japan, one for United Kingdom, and then fortification will take one as well. So that's the three. All right. So we have one. You know, we use heroic effort. Then we use the cathedral. So that's all of our actions. All right, so then they advance. These guys will have to take out next time because one more and they'll be in Halliday. All right, over here we've got uh, foreigners and Christians driven from homes conduct a Chinese blocking force attack this turn. All right, so they are attacking this turn. So let's see what we got. We've got a three. The only other option in there is a four right now, but that'll change as the game continues. So they are attacking. I got a roll higher than a three. Uh, yeah, if greater than victory. Oh, a two, but plus one is three. And so if equal to stalemate, no effect. If I was in one of these red spots, stalemate would actually still be a loss. But where we're at, we're fine. So uh, now we will actually... Uh, let's see, do I want to... If I attack them... No, I'm not going to... I'm not going to attack. I will... Oh, I should just continue increasing my combat power for now. All right. And that was, so that was two actions. One, two. Okay. So that's the end of the round. This comes down here. Okay. Seymour repulsed at Peho. Colonel Shiba organizes Chinese volunteers, gain one Japanese combat power. Okay. And then let's see. We've got somebody there. And there, we just need somebody down here. So boxers are coming in from the south again, this time with five power. Uh, let's see. We've got four actions. So first off, let's take this guy out. Well, we'll use one action to increase our legation fortification. This, oh man, six. All right, so this guy's definitely taken out. But six is no good for us because now six plus one is seven plus one for street fighting is eight. That's real bad. Um, so eight. Wow. All right. Uh, France, one. Austria, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. That was brutal. All right. Uh, let's see. So that's two actions so far. Uh, we will. Oh, you know, I forgot last time was to adjust, but actually, I think I wouldn't change much because we're going to use these guys to shoot over here at these boxers. Four plus one plus one is six. So, oh wait, what? Why are they at zero? What should they have been? Oh, 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 I just, they're at four. These, these are the ones we just took out right here. Okay, all right. Okay, so four, I did get higher than their strength, so I hit them. So now we roll for casualties, six, so they're gone. All right, and, and we don't take casualties when we're firing at range, when, when, we're, when we're doing ranged combat. All right, so we'll see. We increased fortification. That was one, two, three. We've got one more. Um, 
You really should try to avoid melee combat whenever possible. I'm going to go ahead and do heroic effort. That way we can push this guy back next time. Okay. All right, so he comes up. He comes up. Germany envoy Kettler murdered in Peking. This turn only you may minus one your, um, your die roll to advance for plus one die roll to attack. All right. Not sure. Well, I mean, that, we're, we're not going to be doing that for sure because um, that, we're not even going to be attacking. Right here for two actions. I think we will actually start focusing on speed. Speed is one of the most important ones for advancing because you have to get, you have to roll a six in order to advance on the relief column map. All right. So. We are, yeah, so all back on over here. All right, Mir Miracle Find at Saiku. The, this turn only, you may prevent any Boxer King advance for minus two actions. All right, and we have our first King Dynasty showing up with six power. All right, so we've got four actions. We can spend two actions to... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Hold on. Well, no, it's too late now. One of the things I always forget is my ability to move these guys around. Um, well, okay, I am going to retcon this a little bit. Obviously, I wouldn't have known he was coming. But what I would have known is this guy's at long range. And I would have moved my long range guys over here to try to take him out. All right, so what I'll do, my first action is going to be to try to shoot this guy. Two plus two plus two is four, not enough, all right? Second action, same thing. Still not enough because I'm e I equal his distance and I need to I actually need to roll higher then. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spend my last two actions to prevent anybody from moving. So that's what we're going to do. Now, do I want to move any of my people? These guys are engaged, so they can't move unless I use my heroic effort. Which I'm not going to. Not yet. Maybe next time. All right, we're good. We're good how it is. All right, so... Empress declares war, conduct a Chinese blocking force attack this turn, and we're adding, so here we go, this gets added at strength six, gets added to the cup. Let's mix that up, draw something out. Got the four, Chinese blocking attack. All right, we're good, because we rolled higher. Um, we've got two actions, and we'll just increase speed, all right? Okay, so now we've got regional governors refuse to join rebellion. Civilian volunteers form Carving Knife Brigade, gain one combat power to any legation unit. We will increase Austria since they're the lowest. Or, or should we increase Italy as the extreme long range? Austria, Austria is one of my melee guys. UK is melee. It has to be somebody who's lost power France down here is plus is my long range let's increase France all right and then nobody gets added we have three actions this time we're gonna continue trying to take this guy out for now all right there we go five plus one plus one is seven so we do hit him for casualties we get two casualties so down to three all right, so we're gonna shoot at him again. All right, we hit him that time because two plus two is four and that's higher than his current power. Roll for casualties. There we go, now he's dead. All right, so that was two actions, we've got one more. We're gonna use our heroic to push this guy back to here. 
All right, we've got Foreign Navy's Dispatch International Force, minus one uh, to your die rolls uh, to relief column attack die rolls this turn. Two actions, no problem. We're just going to push that up to three, so we're good. All right, that comes down. Here we go. We've got the library. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We didn't move. This guy would move forward one. This guy would move forward one. Sorry, I forgot about that. And we also then would decide if we wanted to change anything. We need to take out this over here. That's going to be a real problem. Um, should we? Or do we send them here? And we can deal with king in melee combat, maybe. Actually, yeah. So we'll do this. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right. The library at Hanlan Han, Han Yuan destroyed. <clears throat> so we need somebody over here. We got some boxers coming in. Strength four. You may spend one action and one British, British uh, combat power to save the Hanlon Library. If successful, place the heroic effort marker in the ready box on the map. I'm not sure why I would do that instead of just spending one heroic action. Oh, oh, oh okay. So if I were to use this, if, if this were already here, then I could use it this turn and... And, and then I would then be able to use this to move it back. That's that's why I would do that. Okay. Um, we'll see. We've got four actions. And we're definitely going to use these guys to take to take a shot at the boxers over here. Oh, nice. So we definitely hit them. Uh, only one casualty, though. Uh, let's do it again. Uh, we hit them again. There we go. Now they're done. All right. So we've got two actions left. I think we will ready that and increase our fortification by one. All right. So over here, we've got International Marine Forces March. International Marine Force marches on Peking. Plus one to relieve column attack and advance die rolls this turn. Okay. So we are going to make our first attempt at moving. So we've got to see who's blocking us. Oh, it would be this guy. All right, so well, we've got plus one, and this gives us plus two, so three. So we need to roll a, a we need to roll a four. Roll the two. So that's actually a loss. Ugh. All right, so we're not going to move this turn. When you take a loss, you move either one of these back two spaces or move both of them back one, move that back two. And then I'll spend my other two actions to move forward too. All right, so that's the end of the turn. Over here, oh, our first first event. Chinese sniper fire, resolve immediately, lose one combat power from a legation unit with the most combat power, which is Russia. All right. And then we draw another card. Foreigners and Christians driven from homes. You may spend two actions. Well, first off, let's see. We need in the west and south. We've got boxers coming in here. And boxers coming in here. Oh, did I? I did not move them forward. All right. Okay. Um, you may spend two actions this turn to roll on the cathedral. Defense table of successful place a heroic um, uh, marker in the ready box. All right. So. Here's what I'm thinking. We will first attack the king in melee combat on the north wall. Ooh, one. So we deal one plus one is two combat damage to them. They then do we deal one back to us, but minus one and minus one here, so we're fine. Um I 
I think I'll then use heroic to push them back and then use my other two actions to try the cathedral roll. We've got a three, which means there's no effect and that's the end of my turn. So they, everybody moves up. And do I wanna move around? I, yeah, I will move these guys over here to come take out the king and then Oh, and actually, I keep saying King. Qing Dynasty. Qing Dynasty. Sorry about that. All right. So over here, I guess I will. I'll put these guys here. Okay. Because I can't move these guys around because they're engaged now. All right. So then over here. Relief column attacked, conduct a Chinese blocking force attack this turn. And we add the five power uh, Ching and Boxer. Oops. All right. Oh, we got the six. Not good. Two plus two is four. They got us again. Knock that down to there. All right. I'll then use my two actions to move that back up. All right, that's the end of the turn. Yeah, because I'm definitely not attacking them. No, not down there. And that comes down here. All right. We've got German envoy Kettler murdered in Peking. Eliminate, eliminate one German combat power. All boxer units advance two spaces this turn during their advanced segment. So boxer, so this guy would make it in. This guy's going here, this guy's going here. So <clears throat> so first off, I have to take this guy out. So four is definitely enough. And th but then I'm gonna get, he's giving me plus one. So that's five to me, but then minus one for the wall. So four. And yeah, there's nothing else that, that cancels it out. All right, so uh, it's Germany, Austria, the wall, and then Germany. All right, there, Austria, one more in Austria is gone from the board. So that was my first action. Uh, we will... Actually, probably need to focus on. Whoa, what's his? Sorry, his strength should be four. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll take a shot at this guy. Yeah. Three. Nope. Um,. Actually, now we'll use heroic effort there. All right, so these guys go here, these guys go here, this guy goes here. We've got Seymour Repulse to Pei Ho. Conduct a Chinese blocking force attack this turn with minus one to the die result. Not good. Not good, not good. Oh, but that's good. We've got the three. Oh, no, that's really bad. So... Three plus two, or one plus two would be three, but then minus one, so we got a loss. Move that there. Um, still though, we, I am gonna try to advance. I'm gonna attack this guy first, we got two actions there. So we did beat him, and now we need to roll at least a four to advance. There we go, nice, so. Move there. Making progress, finally. All right. Fires ravage Peking and consular buildings. So 
We don't add anybody to the board. Fires reduce legation fortification level by one. It's already at zero. Eliminate one British CP. All right. So these guys we got to take out right away. We do have heroic effort. So first we'll use this to take this guy out. So that's four plus one. So he's definitely done. All right. Uh, but then, and we got plus one there. So let's think though, plus one, plus one, that's six. Minus one, that's five. So five casualties. One, two, three, four, five. I think we'll use, let's use heroic effort to push this guy back and then let's attack the Ching. Six, ugh, they're dead, but um, now we've got minus one, so five to France and the United States. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we've got once more into the breach. This is an event, retain this card, play after any melee attack is resolved to remove that Chinese unit from the map at a cost of minus one uh, combat power to any legation unit. All right. So then we've got Miracle Find at Saiku, conduct a Chinese blocking force attack this turn with plus one to the die roll. Nice, all right. So blocking attack, we, we defeated that. And now we will try to move again. Oh no, are you kidding me? All right, so that drops to there, and then we will use two to bring it back up. That goes there, that goes there. All right, we've got an action. Retain this card. Play any time during your action segment to add plus one combat power to any legation unit from minus one to a different one. All right. And oh, and so then we get Empress declares war. Uh, we'll need to put Ching here for five and here for five. Imperial artillery reduces legation fortification level by one, but it's already at zero. All right, so oh, I didn't move him in, he would have moved there. Okay. So melee combat here, we'll go ahead and attack this. Three, one, two, three. But, and then we're gonna get four because Russia actually takes additional casualties. Four, but minus two. So two casualties here. So one to Italy and one to Russia. And we'll go ahead and take this guy out. Oh, I would roll. I would roll a six. All right. So, all right, so he's definitely done. Minus one casualties because he's only at one power. So that'd be five. But plus one, that's six. Minus two, four. So four casualties. One, two, three, four. Oh wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, what I would have done is, no, what I use it on, I probably wouldn't have used it on him, actually. Okay, one, two, okay. Oof. Um, so that's two of my three actions. We're going to move, well, no, we'll move this up one. And then they advance and we will move. These guys actually will stay right where they are. 
Yeah, I think everybody's going to stay where they are. Okay. All right, so over here we've got an action. Rail and telegraph rail and telegraph lines cut. Resolve immediately. Reduce the eight nation army unit speed minus one box. Regional governors refuse to join the rebellion. Remove three from the blocking force. So now that is no longer a possibility, which is not good. We get two actions, so one will be moved that up, the other will move to move that up. All right, so we've got International Marine Force Marshes on Peking. We need boxers over here. And we need boxers down here. At five power. Wow. This turn only you may decrease the strength of all box units on your map by one for one action. Well, we'll definitely do that. We get three actions, but one action will be to move that down and that down. Too bad these two are Ching. Two more actions. We're definitely going to fire that guy. Two plus two, not enough. Let's try again. This will be our final action. Yeah. Not enough. All right. So that comes in. All right, over here we've got the library at Hanlin Yuan destroyed. Conduct a Chinese blocking force attack this turn. Four. We're good there. We will just go ahead and increase this by two. All right, we've got foreign navies dispatch international force. We don't add anything to the board. We've got three actions. Um, let's take, well, I'll attack this guy. Three plus two is five, so that takes him out. All right, that's good. And then three casualties minus one, so just one casualty each, Germany. And Austria takes one, but we're going to go ahead, go ahead and use redeployment under fire. Uh, add plus one to Austria, minus one to Russia is what we'll do. So we have that's one action. Um, and hmm. They will go in and increase, get heroic effort going there, and then we'll use melee here. No, no, no. We'll, we'll, let's try. Let's try to stop this guy before. Ah, ooh, tough choice. We'll use melee here to try to take out Ching. Yeah, just one. So one to them, minus one for us, so we don't get hit. We'll then use play after any melee attack is resolved to remove that Chinese unit from the map at the cost of one combat power to any unit. All right. I believe that's all of my actions. I had three. Yes, yeah, that should be all of them. Okay, so... Move, move. Fires ravage Peking and concert buildings. This turn you may plus one to your roll to advance for a minus one to attack. Five. So minus one to attack would mean I'd have to roll a five to beat them. So we're just gonna increase our combat power. All right. 
Oh, here we go. All right, so we're in the second, see it's a yellow border now. We're in the second phase of the deck. International gun assembled. So first off, King, Qing Dynasty up here for five. And over here for five with the boxers and we're good there. So now we receive the international gun. All right, we can place, this gives us plus one to hit and then plus three casualties. Uh, but it only can be used at range, so not these melee spots. Uh, let's, you know what, let's make these guys Actually, we'll put it down here. I'll show you what we're going to do here. All right, so we've got three actions. So first off, let's melee this guy. We should be able to take him out. Uh, ooh, maybe not. Oh, no. Well, yes, yeah, yeah. One plus one plus one, so that's three, so he's done. Um, and then for us, it's one plus one is two, but the wall takes care of the other two, so we're all right. Okay. Over here, we're going to use heroic effort to push him back so he's out at long range. The Italians get plus one at long range and then plus one with the gun. So we're doing plus two right now, so we need to get a three. Got a five, so we hit him. And six, oh yeah, we took him out because we get plus three casualties. So that guy's gone. All right, so move, move. Definitely want to leave these guys here. We're going to move the gun here. And those guys, we'll leave everybody else the way they actually. We'll move China over here. Or not China, we'll move Japan over here. All right, so the deal with the, the Chinese. Um... Yeah, all right, so now we go here. We've got international gun assembled, but that means we're adding the seven marker to the pool now, so that's real bad. That should have come off already. Uh, well, let's, let's see who we're dealing with over here. We're dealing with the seven strength. So right now we only have plus three. We would need to roll a five to get past him. So instead, we're just going to increase that by two. All right. Hurry up with that bloody ammo. Retain this card. Play any time during your action segment for one free attack with plus two to the die roll. All right. Oh, that's just the event. Siege at Peking nears end. All right. So we need... Five, good and good. All boxer units advance two spaces this turn during their advanced segment. All right, so the boxer's gonna advance two, so we gotta keep that in mind. But we're definitely going to try to take the Qing units out there. Oh yeah, we definitely hit them. And then for casualties, three plus three is six, they're done. All right, so I have four actions. That was one. Uh, we'll do, you know what? We're gonna use this plus two DRM, plus two to the die roll. So we need to roll a four. Oh yeah, so we hit him. Two casualties. So that knocks him down to three. That was the free one, but now we'll definitely roll again. Still have three actions. We hit him again. Nice. So they're gone. All right. We got two actions left. We'll leave these guys alone for now. We will move heroic effort over, have it readied, and we'll move legation fortification up one. All right, so then this guy moves in. We will move our snipers over, including the gun. 
and deal with those guys here in a second. Drop your packs in charge. Retain this card. Play the beginning of your relief column command segment for an additional plus one uh, to your relief column combat and advanced die rolls this turn. All right, so this will be a good turn to move. Well, let's see what we got here. Allies take Taku Forts. Conduct a Chinese blockading force attack this turn. Got the six, so we're gonna need to roll at least a two, uh, at least a two. Oh wow, got it. Okay, stalemate. That's not a red space, so we're okay. Now we are gonna go ahead and play this. We get three actions. All right, so we're gonna play this, and we're getting plus one to our rolls. So we definitely defeated them. And so now we'll need to get at least a. Uh, we're getting plus four to advance, so we need to roll a three to actually advance. All right, that's one. And our third action. There we go. Nice. All right, making good progress. Eight nation force begins march on Peking. Good here. Up here we need Ching uh, with five. And down here, same thing. Imperial artillery reduces legation fortification level by one. All right, so these guys are going to deal with this guy first. We're getting plus three to hit, so we definitely hit him. And casualties, oh yeah. All right, so that was my first action. We have two, three more actions. Plus one at extreme range. Yeah, let's 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 try to take him out. Three plus one is four. We basically we got to roll a five to hit him. There we go. All right, so that, that was my third my third action. So we hit him. Casualties are six. Nice, nice. Okay, all right. We got one action left. We'll increase fortification. All right, over here, Fir first relief convoy save. Conduct a Chinese blockading force attack this turn. They are attacking us with a five, and we get plus four, so we just got to roll. Are we in a red space? We just got to roll. It doesn't matter. We're roll one. We're fine. All right, which we did, which is disconcerting. But uh, let's go ahead, and we have three actions. So we're going to attack them. We beat them. All right. Now we're going to try to move, but we got to roll at least a four. No, we get a loss. Yeah, advancing. If less than six, logistics problem minus one loss. So we will one, two, and then we'll use my final action to move that back up. So we're still at plus four. All right. So we stalled out there. Oh, we didn't move this guy. He should move down. All right. So, and do I want to adjust anybody? Yeah, actually we do. We want to move our long range guys over here. All right. Okay. Paisang Falls. So go to the north over here. We've got a level six boxer coming in and then level five from the south. Student, in, student interpreters form civilian volunteers. Gain one combat power to any unit. Uh, let's do one for Japan. All right. So we've got four actions. Definitely attacking there first. With plus three, we hit. And we did three, six casualties. So they're gone. All right, and we have three actions left. Let's let's try to hit these guys. We're gonna have to again. We gotta roll five. Nope, two actions left. There we go. All right, casualties. Two casualties. All right. Um, 
Let's finish trying to take him out. Uh, so we need to roll. This time we're getting plus one. We need to roll a three. Got it. Casualties. Nice. All right. So over here. Eight nation force assembled. This turn only suffer no loss on a second on a second successful advance roll. Okay. So we've got three actions. Let's see who we're facing here. Level six. To get rid of him, we'd need to roll a three. Let's do it. Yes. All right. So now we're going to try to advance. Got to roll a three not to take a loss, a four to advance. Oh. One, two. We'll push back up with, with. No, let's try to advance. Let's try to advance. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Okay. Battle at Yang Sung. Uh, get over. Oh, we did not advance this guy. Sorry. I always forget that. Uh, so, obviously, based off of what I've been doing, I would have moved this over here. All right. Um, all right. So, Battle at Yang Sung. Uh, in the north, we've got level four Ching and level five Ching over here. Imperial Artillery reduces legation fortification level by one. All right, and we're definitely attacking these boxers. So that uh, three plus three is not enough to hit. We gotta get, uh, after all, seven here. So we've got three more. There we go, so we hit casualties. Five plus one for the boxer, so that is six total. Okay. So we've got two more actions. I'm actually going to use both of those to increase fortification. Yeah. All right, so move, move, and four, five. We'll move these guys here. And you know what, let's, uh, I'll move Japan over. Who has, yeah, I'll move Japan here. Yep, okay. So then over here we've got Emerson Liscom earns ninth infantry motto. This turn only you may plus one to your die rolls to advance for a minus one to attack. Well. Going up against the six, and we to beat them, we would need to roll a four. I'm actually going to use both my actions to increase that to a, to four. All right. Uh, Emerson Liscom earns ninth infantry motto. You may spit. Oh, well, let's see. Good there, good there. Down here, we need Ching coming in at five. You may spend two actions this turn to roll on the cathedral defense table if successful. Place the heroic effort there. And then special, receive the keep up the fire marker. I guess maybe that's an in game scoring thing, maybe. Um, so we're definitely going, oh, we forgot to move this. All right. We're going to shoot at these guys. Ooh, one plus three is not enough. We've got three more actions. Let's try again. Three plus three is six. That is enough. Casualties. There we go. Two actions left. We use one to increase that, and then let's take a shot at this guy. Last action. Five plus one is six. We got him. Two casualties. 
Okay. All right. So moving over here. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. That guy moves down. That guy moves up. All right. So they're moving over here. Tar Tartar Tartar Wall Falls. Plus one DRM of relief column attack and advance die rolls this turn. All right. Who are we going up against? The seven. Not good. But we're getting plus five, so we're definitely going to do it. So here we go. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? We're going to try again, though. Because we're getting plus one of that advance roll. There we go. All right, so we beat him, and we get one more action. And we do advance. All right. All right, so over here, Tartar Wall Falls. We need a Ching over here at level five. We need Ching there. We're good. And Boxer over here at five. This turn only, you may gain plus one action for minus one fortification. Oh, we're definitely doing that. Um, all right, so first let's take this guy out. We definitely got him. We had plus three, so no matter what we rolled, we were going to get him. And for casualties, he's gone. All right, so then this guy in melee over here. So that's we have two actions left. Six. Woof. All right. So we definitely took him out, but that's going to be painful for us. We have, so we have six minus two. So four. Oof. All right. So, uh, let's see. One, two, and one, two. So now Japan is gone for now, unless we can find a way to add combat power to them. So that is not good. Um, but that was two actions. We have one action left. Uh, we'll use the extreme range, so we need to roll a five. Nope. And we'll go ahead and use one fortification to do it again. There we go. We hit him. Four. All right. So they move, and they move. And, oh, and then we'll definitely... Uh, was We don't... Oh, yeah, okay, over here. We'll move America and France over here. Okay. All right. Eight Nation Force begins March on Peking, plus one for attack and advance. Okay, all right. We've got the five. Oh, good, 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 good. So we're getting plus four right now. And that is not a red space. So, so we definitely defeated them. All right. And now we're getting plus four for advance. That's a five. Of course. It, oh, my God. We'll take a loss there. Unbelievable. Did I advance these guys? Yes, I did. Okay. Wow. 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 Uh, Taiyuan Massacre. Up here, we need Ching at level five. Good. Down here, ooh, level six Ching coming in. All right. Imperial Artillery reduces legation fortification by one. All right, so we're definitely doing this first, plus three. We hit them, and then casualties, we took them out. All right, so now, yeah. I should, I should have moved this guy last turn to one of the empty spaces in anticipation of somebody coming in, but I'm not going to retcon that. Uh, so we are attacking here, but we just got to, oh, as long as we don't get a one, which we did. That's two actions. Oh my God. 
All right, so we hit, and then no matter what we roll, they're dead. All right. Another one. That's ridiculous. All right, so this guy moves in. This guy moves in. We will move. This guy's six. That guy's five. So we will move our firing squad over here. All right, and then like I said, we definitely want this guy. Oh, we should... Well, we'll see. Germany only has one CP, so does Austria. So we'll move them there to help with that. And move this guy here. Well, I mean, he can just stay where he is because that's empty too. All right. Yep. Okay. Hold that line, soldier. Retain this card. Play after any melee attack to reduce legation casualties to zero. Nice. All right. Siege at Peking near his end. Conduct a Chinese blockading force attack this turn with minus one. This is not good. Six. So we're rolling plus one. We lost it. So two. Go down two. We have three actions. So we're going to go one, two, three. We only have four cards left. So we've, we've got to... So this one has five, which means one of those is going to be a an event. All right. So let's look over here. We've got, oh, there's our event right there. Pivot, pivot of our destiny. Retain this card. Play it anytime during your action segment to drive back the Chinese unit on the track defended by the U.S. legation unit up to two spaces. All right. So we've got, oh, we got to see what this actually is. Allies take Taku Forts over here. Level five. Good. Oh, oh man, level six over here. Imperial artillery reduces legation fortification by one. All right. So here first. Getting plus three, so we got to roll a four. Got it. Casualties, got it. All right, so they're they're done. That was my first action. Uh, where do I want to go next? Um, I have to roll a six to hit that guy. I have to roll a six to hit that guy. I could just increase my fortifications. Yeah, we're just going to increase fortification all the way up. All right, so move, move, move. These guys are engaged. We'll move this here. Okay. Uh, allied assault on legation compound minus one of relief attack and of relief calm attack and attack die rolls. I think it probably means attack and advance die rolls. So if I'm getting minus one, then I'm just going to use all three actions. Go one, two, three. And we're going to have to really make our move here soon, though. First relief convoy saved. Uh, we need boxers down here. Custom house employees form civilian volunteers. Gain one combat power to any legation unit. Um, let's bring Japan back. All right, so we get three... Actions, we're definitely going to use one here. Need to roll. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Mm. Let's do it here. Yeah, let's do it here. We need to roll four. Nice. Got it. So casualties. Got them. All right. Two more actions. Let's go here. So we get five casualties. 
which is enough to take them out. And then we will use Hold That Line Soldier, play after any melee attack to reduce legation casualties to zero, because Germany would have been out if we had taken any casualties. And so that's two actions. We have one left. Might as well take a shot at this guy, right? So we need to roll a... We need to roll six for him. Actually, we'll take a shot at this guy. Need to roll a five. Got it. Casualties. Only one casualty. All right. Well, better than nothing. Oh, plus one because he's a boxer. Uh, yeah. Okay. Moving over here. Pai uh, Sang falls. This turn only you may suffer no loss on a failed advance roll. Okay. All right. So... Oh, but the four has got to come out. That's not good. So the four power one's gone. So that means we only have the five, six, and seven in there. Got the six. We're rolling with plus four, though. So come on, let's get a three. Oh, my God. All right, well, let's do it again. We need a four this time. And of course we get a three. So it's a draw, but nothing happens because we're not in a red space. So we have one action left. So we'll move that up one. Eight nation force assembled. Good here. We need boxers up here. Wait, did I move those guys in? I did not. So my long range guys would have been here. All right. All right, so then low five up there. And everybody else is okay. All boxer units advance two spaces this turn during their advance segment. All right, so so let's deal with this first. Definitely hit and definitely killed him. Oops. So we get three more actions. I'm actually going to use Heroic to drive this guy back because both of these guys, can if they take even one damage, they're gone. Uh, and then we will try to hit this guy at extreme range. Nope. Need to roll a six. So got two more actions. No. One more action. Need to roll six. Oh, we got Oh, my God, we got it. Okay, so we got a six. And then for casualties, five minus one. Plus one, though, because they're boxers, so five. That's enough. Got him. And this guy moves up. We will move our long-range guys over here. All right, and then over here, battle at Yang Sung. Conduct a Chinese blockading force attack. This turn, remove the five. So all we're gonna have is six and seven left in here. The five comes out, where is it? It's the seven. We're getting plus three, so we need a four. Okay, we're good. Um. There's only one card left, so I have to make a move this turn. So we're attacking. I think we're done, y'all. Move down two and then move up one. All right, last turn of the game. 
Allied Assault on Legation Compound. Good there. We need this one here for four. And we need this one here for five. All boxer units advance two spaces this turn. So we'll have... Well, this guy's not going to be a problem because it's the last turn of the game. So really, none of them are technically going to be problems. So we'll, we'll try to take this guy out. So we hit him. Yep, took him out. Got three actions left. Um, so we'll try to hit this guy. We need to roll a, si a five. Why do we have to hit these guys? Because these are the bad guys coming in. So that was a. I got two actions left. You need to roll five. There we go. So we hit him. Uh, only we did one casualty though. Uh, might as well use our last action to try to hit him again. We need to roll a four. Daddy. All right. So here we go. Let's see what this is. Uh, we can't even. We can't even do it. Um, we're we're going to play it out, but we can't win. But they're doing a blockading force attack. Uh, minus one DRM. So oh god. So we got took a loss. I mean, we might as well try to get past them. Nope. There we go. So that's it. That is the game. Your troops at the legation compound must survive and prevent the compound from being overrun before relief come arrives. So there are three ways to lose. Decisive defeat. Nope. No. Uh, moderate defeat. The last card has been played, but the relief column has failed to arrive at the Peking space. The plight of the trapped legation defenders forces them to sue for peace due to the inability of the Eight Nation Relief Army to reach Peking in time. They signed the Treaty of the Harmonious Fists and Divine Empire, the main provision of which forced the Allied powers to relinquish their trade ports and military bases in China. Without a common enemy to fight, forces within China turn upon each other to the brink of civil war while the Allied nations refocus their imperialist efforts elsewhere across the globe with rising tensions come a host of smaller wars for the next 15 years. There you go, that was Keep Up the Fire. I almost pulled out a win. I still haven't won this one. That was the closest I've ever gotten though. So I will uh, hopefully be able to pull out a win here in the next game or two that I play. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to come back to see more gameplays, more instructional videos. Lots more coming up real soon. We've got Tales from the Loop over there. We've got uh, Tarawa. We've got Anno 1800. Lots of great stuff. And until next time, for Board Online, Board Offline.